Hello and welcome to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy and I'm Sadie. And you are joining us today for a 20 minute summertime sculpt session. We are going low. We're going to focus in on those low abs, those inner thighs, which are going to leave you feeling super sculpted and standing tall. We are taking the very best exercises from the classical Pilates discipline, bar work, putting it together, fusing it together just for you guys so you feel fantastic. All you need is a mat on the floor, grab a sturdy chair or a step with like a little surface near you, that will be perfect. And then grab some water and a little towel as well and make your way down to the mat for a couple of grounding breaths so we can arrive. Go ahead and roll out, make sure your feet are hip sockets width apart. We're gonna make a little heart shape so the thumbs and forefingers come together. Place the fingertips on your pubic bone, place the thumbs on your navel. The elbows can rest down or just hover as you wish. You could close the eyes and just inhale deeply through the nose and then exhale all the air out, really ring out the lungs. We're gonna do that one more time. Just feel the whole spine grounding into the mat, feel yourself arrive, set some positive intentions. And then from here, we're gonna focus in on those low abs right away. So we inhale. And on the exhale, just peel a couple of vertebrae, maybe two or three. Your fingertips will rise. And then as you exhale, lower the tailbone all the way back, rippling into the mat until you find a neutral or natural spinal alignment. Now I'll talk a little bit about that. That means that there's a tiny gap. It varies from person to person. As you peel up, you'll feel that release all the way down. And then you could slide a little credit card right underneath your waistband. Good for you, Sadie. Let's take two more. Exhale, feel your thumbs sinking, low abs engage, lift and just hover. And then roll out and find that neutral, natural alignment. Beautiful, we'll take one more before we head into our toe taps to really fire those low abs. So, resting into that neutral spine, arms go long by your side, float one leg, then the other, find tabletop. That's a 90 degrees of the legs. Right toe is gonna tap all the way down and squeeze on up. Left leg down for two, exhale all the way back. Now, I want you to think that you're moving through treacle, Sadie. Could you resist the way back? And if you're not sure your lower abs are switched on, Place the fingertips just at the pubic bone or just above it. Could you switch on your pelvic floor as well? Rest your head into the mat. Make this all about those sensations of zipping up your favorite jeans, your sexiest pair. Beautiful, hollow and lift. Two more, finding that zip. Last one, and we're gonna head into our footwork. So hug your knees for a moment. And then bring the legs out, V-shape the knees, and place your heels together, toes flexing strongly. Arms can go all the way behind the head, right where the skull meets the neck. So we're gonna push those heels out a couple of inches, exhale, pull them back to 90 degrees. Scooping those inner abs and inner thighs, as you wish, you can extend a little longer and stronger. Maybe today is not the day, how are we doing? I've and got... if you want, ultimate lift of the head as you fully extend legs. It goes out and out, squeeze, in and in. Now, if you're not sure about those low abs, check in again. You don't want them doming or puffing out. So if you're finding that's happening, shorten your range a little, right? Make it work for your body today. You've got four and squeeze home. Moving through the music for three. Could you peel a little higher? If your hands are supporting your head, make your head heavy. Last one, hug in the knees. Next set, we're gonna be on our heels. So normally this set is performed on a reformer. Imagine there's a bar in front of you. Push the heels onto the bar, pull your toes back. Keep your head resting for a moment. We're gonna press those legs three quarters, squeeze in the thighs, exhale, hug them home. Two more like so, just finding the range that works for you. So that might be a full extension at 90 degrees, 60 degrees or 45. If you're lifting the head, join me now as you squeeze long. Exhale, pull back to 90. Curl a little higher. Take your gaze to your abdominals if you have your head lifted. Are they scooping? Be your own best instructor, Sadie. You're doing great. You've got two more. Can you push with those heels? Push away any negativity as well. Last one. And we're gonna come onto our toes. Put on your Louboutins, ladies. Ball of the foot on that magic foot bar. Curling all the way out and in. We're gonna go for flow. We're going for 10. Lift the head if you wish to. Keep it resting if that's feeling stressful on the neck. Always working to your challenge point today. That is gonna increase your strength. Could you squeeze those inner thighs a little more? Imagine a towel between your knees. Beautiful, you've got four, exhale in. You've got three, exhale in. We're heading to our 100 team. Probably the most famous classical Pilates exercise. Take a hug of the knees. 
then draw them back to tabletop. Lift the head, neck and shoulders up. If that's available, reach the arms higher than your hips. Start to pump the air in, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. Now you might stay here or slowly again go to a challenge point. Three quarter extension, full extension. You've got a hundred of these beats. Inhaling for five, exhaling for five. If you need to rest the head, keep vigorously pumping the arms. Keep squeezing those inner thighs. I know it's work, right? Mr. Pilates designed this to give you that beautiful little lift to your heart rate. Get the blood pumping. Should we say four more? We've got in, two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, squeeze the legs. Two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, two more. Beautiful team. Keep going. Nice job. Last one. And you're ready for the hug. Press the head back, maybe rock it side to side. Say no, Chrissy, no more. And then bring the hands behind the knees. We're gonna rock on up and find our chair. So come to standing, find your solid surface. We're gonna place the back of the chair so you've got the high bit facing you. And we're coming into a little bar sequence that's going to really fire, again, low abs in the thigh. So feet and knees are together. Face your bar, you're about a forearm's distance away. Hug the inner thighs, squeeze your glutes, and then lift your heels one inch. So everything is hugging together. Slice the knees down and find the beautiful lifted posture and then start to take it down. We go down an inch, squeeze your knees. Oh, so you're not gonna see a lot on screen, but that squeeze fires everything, right? Inner thighs, pelvic floor, little inch down, little squeeze. Let's take that on tempo. It goes a little drop, little squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Now the hands are light. Spine is tall, easy shoulders and face, yes, lady. And try to lift the gaze. Where your attention goes will raise that posture right away. It makes it feel lighter, even though those thighs are right away gonna be burning. Yes, four, three, beautiful work. Two, now we stay low. I'm gonna introduce a tuck. It goes tuck, lengthen. Do you remember that neutral spine? That sensation we had in the mat of tucking and finding neutral. So go between those two positions. Now squeeze your knees together. Tuck. Aha, uh -huh. is it working? Shall we take it on tempo? We go tuck, tuck, tuck. It goes down and up for two. We go tuck it down for two. Tuck, squeeze for two. So we are never standing all the way tall. We are staying in the danger zone. I'm going to hold my hand here. She can't go higher, nor can you at home. You've got four. Beautiful, tuck it up. Nice, we've got full range in our future. It's exciting, are you excited? Our uh hearts squeeze those knees. Two more, she really means it. <laughs> You've got last one. Now hold it at the top, make sure those heels are low. We're gonna go all the way down as far as you can go. Come halfway up, take a little tuck. It goes drop, halfway hold, tuck. Nice, drop, halfway hold. Tuck, watch that posture. So it's like sliding down a wall, then you add the tuck, yes? Layering it all in, light hands. Aha, uh -huh. we've got four more. Then we wrap it out. Squeeze those knees like crazy. Three, oh, my pelvic floor. Woo! Yeah, it's like a nice surprise. Two more, the surprise is you've got 10 for flow. We can do this, Sadie. It's gonna raise our heart rate and sculpt it. It goes down, tuck. For my warriors, take a heel rise. Aha. Uh -huh. Squeeze tuck, yes! Five more here, five, Whew. four, are you breathing? You are now, three, she loves it really, two, Whew. last one, hold at the top, raise your heels a little higher, Sadie, slide your knees a little lower, little tuck, little tuck for the challenge, one arm goes high, maybe both, see what you can do today, ten more tucks, ten tuck, nine tuck, eight, sit a little deeper, yes team, five, four beautiful long spines, for three, for two, you're done. Hands to bar. Give it a shake if you need to. <laughs> We're gonna come into an inclined spine. So you're about a forearm's length away. Feet are together, still knees are together. Bend your knees deeply. Peel that left heel up. Find a little parallel lunge. Bring the knee low. Now bring it over cross. So it's a parallel and an over cross. I'm gonna show you guys front facing. So you can see that inner thigh hug. That is our goal. So shoulders and hips stay square, inner thigh hugs, four more slow. Are you breathing as you squeeze? So we stay low, there's a little glass ceiling, right? Now those low abs, do you remember how they felt in your 100? Find that again, zip them up. That's why we start on the floor, so we have all the tools on the beat. Let's go, parallel, cross, parallel. Now it's not a bounce, it's a hug, yeah. 
Beautiful, Zadie. Four more here. Four, then we pulse in the overcross. Three, so strong. Two, hold it overcrossed. Find that squeeze, little down, little down. Could your left arm fly high? Could your right arm fly high diagonal? Ooh, that front thigh, right? You got four. You got three to the cardio. You got two, are those abs lifted? They are now. Raise it back, we go pull, pull, pull. Just a little cardio, I love slicing that in here. For the ultimate sculpt, we've got to do it. Four more, it's four. Three, then we're heading straight to our second side. Two, and on one, find your inclined spine, little pulses down and down like a heartbeat. Now, if your heartbeat is higher, that is good news. It means we're burning fat. We're gonna lift that right heel, slice it back, find your parallel. We go over cross, we go parallel. Let's take that on the beat. Cross, parallel. Ooh, and it feels a little more burny that second side because we're already fatigued. It's okay. Now, everybody, shoulders down. Beautiful postures. Find that beat. Uh-huh. Five, four. I love how this gets into the glute as well. Three, inner thighs, shaping them out. So strong. Two, now we hold it over cross, find the squeeze. Little down, little down. Could your right arm fly high? Could your left arm fly high? Could you sit all the way down till your knee nearly brushes that floor? You got eight, seven, six ribs, abs in. Four, yes. Three, two, bring it back to parallel. We go pull. Pull. You can add the arms when you're ready, if you're ready. If you want the support of the chair, know it's there. A little deeper, Sadie. Eight, seven, six, beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that chair out of the sort of equation. We don't need it again. And we can come all the way down. Favorite last little bit here before we head back into some more sideline work. So we're gonna bring the knees all the way together. Not this as far, squeeze them and I'll show you side on. You're gonna hover down until you're one fist distance off those heels, hands to hips. You ready? We go, little tuck, little down, little tuck. Can I make it smaller? Aha. Uh -huh. Often with bar, it's those small increments, right? It's those tiny little ranges that give you this crazy shake. So if you are shaking right now. I'm shaking. <laughs> good. Breathe into it, lean into it. That is how we sculpt the bodies. A little faster, tuck. Now the arms are going to float wide like they're hovering on balloons. And then we add a little curve of the upper spine. It goes pull, pull. Beautiful, Sadie. Breathe it out. Hug. Give yourself a little hug for doing this workout, giving yourself that gift. Eight, seven, beautiful. Six and five, four, three, two and one. Place the hands behind you, you're good. Tuck under. Lift the hips, take a little stretch. Oh. How good does that feel? So, we're gonna come into a side lying series now. Classical Pilates work, so amazing for those low inner thighs and abs. So, laying on your side like a little banana. You're gonna bring the right hand underneath your head, left hand very definitely six inches in front of the chest. It could be flat. You okay there? Yep. Or fingertips on, you're good. <laughs> so we're flexing the feet, and I want you to imagine there's a wall there. So push into that wall, lift the abs, Really stack the hips. Lift the top leg up, two, three, squeeze it down. So the work here is that work through syrup, right? We're gonna work into the inner thigh as you squeeze down a hug a balloon. Two, three, and squeeze. Can you feel that resistance? If you dial your big toe down, does it get better? Oh yeah, when I say better, that usually means it burns more. <laughs> Silver lining speak for extra. Two more, it's up. Up, up, squeeze on down. Last one goes up, up. Now, as you come down, just hover at hip height. Can you hover it there? And now lift the underneath leg to the top one. It's lift, it's lower. Oh my goodness, right? That is tough. Now, if you need to adjust the height of the top leg to accommodate, that's okay. But I shouldn't see that top leg moving, Sadie. Uh-uh. That is my litmus test. I know. <laughs> yeah. You got four. Are you breathing? How are those shoulders doing? You've got two more. Now hold the legs together, squeeze harder. Little up, little up, little up. We've got one more finale move. We always have a big finish with the classical sideline series. So you've got four, three to your scissors, two on one point, the toes lightly, scissor the underneath leg forward, top leg back. Now switch. Now the goal here is to keep those hips stacked. So if you find your range is too rangy, make it a little smaller, make it happen from those low core muscles. 
Yes, Sadie. Can you go a little faster? For five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way around the other side. Yeah, I know, right? So the added bonus is the glute work. We're gonna swing those legs around. So your feet are gonna be heading that way. And you've got the back of the mat as your guide there, Sadie. So the hand is six inches in front of the chest. Make sure you're setting up for success. Legs slightly forward of the torso, flex your feet. Now you're gonna lift the top leg. It goes up, 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 squeeze to lower. So the trick is that squeeze to lower down, Sadie. Find the resistance, yes. I'm gonna help her out. Imagine a Chrissy hand is under there. Squeeze down, yeah, you got it. Press up, up, up. Now if my hand isn't there at home, imagine it is. Picture that resistance. Beautiful, you've got four, nice, squeeze, three. On the last one, it's gonna stay hip height, remember, for that underneath leg lift, inner thigh action. Beautiful work, last time, hold it down at hip height. Now, fire the underneath leg for me, Sadie. We lift, we lower, up and down. It is so strong, right? You have to really keep that stability of the hips and you have to use those low abs. It is really challenging. Nice, you've got four, then we pulse. Squeeze three, hug those legs together. Yes, two, keep flexing, flex and hold. Little pulses up and up and up. I know Sadie just ate more. We eight, seven, beautiful, six and five. Gorgeous, four, three, two. Now hold it there, point the toes. Underneath leg slice forward, top leg slices back. Can you keep the hips still and stable? Woo okay, if you're ready, start to pick up that pace. We go forward and back, moving right through the music, keeping that stability. Ladies and gentlemen, just four and three and two and one, and then rest the legs together. Come all the way up and around. We are finishing off with a beautiful forearm plank with the feet glued together. That midline work that we've been doing is gonna take us to the finish line. So make a number 11 with your hands, beautiful. Shoulders and elbows aligned. Draw the legs back and squeeze the legs together. Now, if you're newer to class, you have the option just to bend the knees and stay modified here. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the legs up long if you're taking the challenge. It goes knee tap, squeeze long. So imagine your plank is like a little arrow from a bow. You've got energy from the crown of the head through to the heels. In this case, can you draw your heels to touch and ankle bones to touch, Sadie? So you feel the inner thigh squeeze, yes. Go four more, then we add a saw. It's three, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, you get those low abs engaged, right? So now we add a saw, it looks like this. We go forward, back, knee tap, extend. Beautiful, forward, tap, down, and up. One more slow. Can you do it on tempo? It's front, back, knee tap. Front, back, knee tap. Just four, then a hold, I know. Three, then we stretch. Two, you've got a hold in your future. Find that hold, find that squeeze, find that full body action. Hold and breathe, silver liners, yes you can. Eight, seven, squeeze, hold six, five, four, three, two, lower hips to the ground. Oh, I know, it's also good when it's Sorry. Release the legs. Lift the spine, chest and gaze. And then take your head over to the left. Roll the chin down and around. So often lots of the stress when we're doing our ab work comes into the neck, right? So just take a minute now to ease that out. You've got one more. And then when you're ready, coming all the way back to your child pose. Just heels drawing together, knees drawing apart. I like to spider the fingers and rest the head into the mat, just taking a few little rolls of the shoulders. Good, and then in your own time, slowly, slowly, slowly rolling up, finding that opening through the chest. So we interlace hands behind us, shine the chest up, gaze up, chest is open, beautiful. And then finishing up with a nice little butterfly stretch. And I know you're a runner, Sadie, so you will appreciate this little moment to open out. Bring the soles of the feet together, scoot the sit bones forward, a couple of little butterfly wings to bring us to our close. Thank you guys for joining us for this summertime sculpt. It's been our pleasure to have you on the mat with us. We hope you really enjoyed. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel so that you can keep enjoying these amazing workouts and hopefully feeling fantastic and shining every day. See you very soon on the mat. Thanks guys.